Hello, this is MJ Caligari, and today I'm going to show you guys how to start a worm bin. So, what you will need is leaves for belly, as you can see here. You will need your worms, and I previously, guys. I want to say I apologize because I previously previously had a worm bin um, video with me harvesting my castings and getting to, getting ready to harvest my castings and unfortunately that video had gotten deleted. So today I promise you guys I was going to start um, and show you guys how to start your own worm bin or container or box or in a five gallon bucket trash uh, trash can. Um, so basically what I did was I took my worms from my 18 gallon container. You could do a 10 gallon container. It doesn't matter. Um, and actually my worms are in here. My red wigglers, they are in a bedding with coffee grinds, leaves, and their previous bedding from before. So they're in here. They don't like the light. So that's why they did deep, deep, deep inside. And I have new clothes on right now. So I'm not going to dig my hand. In this worm bin to show you guys so basically you want your leaves as you can see crumble it up a little bit into there then you want to get some more leaves hey <laughs> and then they, they would eat this actually if they run out of food have brown paper in the bottom so just in case you want to put brown paper you do not want this in here that's a no no that's a seed um from the tree so just be careful guys and when you do this and then you can add your worms stay tuned guys so guys as you can see what i did was i took some root paddle leaves i layered it in one section and took a piece of cardboard and lay it in another section. And what you can do, you can take grass, paper, um, cardboard, shredded cardboard if you want, leaves like that. So I have leaves available. What I want to do is actually make one side for their food and the other when they go use do the castings and whatever. However, what you guys don't know, you can use uh, leaves, grass, um, shredded newspaper as long as it is uh i believe an edible ink i believe um i don't remember offhand you can also use uh uh cardboard i said that before newspaper i said that before uh shredded regular paper um you can use people some people use this uh hay for instance um they're like uh, edible, uh, I guess composters. I want to say basically, they're not composting by a regular compost method, which is just using your browns, your greens, stuff like that. They actually are your um, edible composters, which help you to get better um, compost results as the castings. Even um, uh, well, the night crawls are good. Um, are good for your castings. Charlie Gardner, and we're back, and I want to show you what I had done thus far. So we have shredded leaves. You can use shredded cardboard, shredded paper, hay, grass, old glass, grass clippings. Um any of your nitrogen fixing plants that died off you can use that uh some people use just leaves which i'm doing today for a new methods of the paper shred your leaves um if you can if you if you have a shredder um some type of um like a, a weed whacker or some type of blade that could shred your leaves get it done if you can't get to use your hands so what i am going to feed my Red wigglers, you can use red wigglers, night crawlers. Uh, some people like using regular earthworms. Um, whatever floats your boat, you know, and make you happy to feed your start your worm bin. 
Uh, you can start outdoors. You can do it inside your garage. You can do it inside your ca your pantry uh, closet. You can start a worm bin inside your under your sink, um, your kitchen sink or your bathroom sink if you wanted to. They want to be in a nice warm climate. You can start outside because in in all reality, worms have been under the ground for years. You know, doing what they do. Um, so what we're gonna do is now we're just gonna feed our worms, and we're gonna feed my worms. Is coffee grinds mixed with a little peat moss because what ha my uh, coffee grinds got wet. It was outside during the, uh, when it rained and uh, so it can it's kind of liquidy. So don't be disgusted by this. So stay tuned, guys, and uh, wait till the uh, end of the video. Stay tuned. Okay, we're back and I'm going to also use uh, some frozen frozen bananas as you can see here and some honey nut Cheerios which I'm going to place in here um, and they go nuts for this stuff I heard so I'm going to use some of that and the bananas so I'm only doing this with one hand guys so just bear with me um, stay tuned for the for the um, for the end of the video hey guys i just want to let you guys also know that it's better just to feed your um red wigglers and earthworms just um i believe just uh coffee grinds um rock dust stuff like that because when you have food in your um uh worm bin here what happens is you can start getting gnats and f fruit flies and all these different type of flies um, and different um, insects that try to crawl into your bin. So today I'm just doing this as an example, but from this day forward, the only thing my um, red wigglers are going to get is coffee grinds. So this is a demonstration, you guys, of what to do. And how to, how to start a, uh, a worm bin and so what you want to do is you also which I did have done here um, you want to place holes so that they can breathe and also holes on top of the, the lid however I'm not going to do that I'm just going to put a piece of cardboard here so stay tuned you guys can see we have red wigglers and we also have cocoons their eggs in here too as well that I did not um um, get, I, I actually uh, didn't get rid of. I decided to keep all my egg, my cocoons I could find, and so I could have more babies. I can tell you guys this: when I started um, drying out my castings the first time, I had so many uh, cocoons um, slash eggs that I didn't know what to do. Uh, I have so many worms still in my castings from previous from my previous video, um, and I have not actually sorted everything out. However, it's going to get done soon. I'm not in a rush. But, you guys, here we go. We're going to dump. Uh, be careful to dump, actually, these red wigglers into their new home, to their original home here. And so, here we go. Look at that. Look how huge they are. You see this? And I'm just going to see. Look at that. Look at this, guys. I haven't done anything. But this is where they live. This is where they go to go. And um, and actually here go a baby. Look at that crawling into this. So there they go, guys. And I'm just tapping this to make sure. And it smells like it smells so. This container right here smells so earthy, like like leaves and soil. Like it's so fresh and refreshing, guys. Like I am like overwhelmed. And I'm so excited to start a new worm bin with you guys. Uh, it takes uh, literally three months um, max to uh, have castings, a whole bunch of castings. And I can tell you this, guys, this it this 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 container here I had originally. If I would have kept going, I would have had at least fifteen. I would say about probably 15 pounds to 25 pounds of uh, castings and I'm just getting a random number guys so with my heart 
to yours. I want to wish you guys happy gardening. And you're, remember this. You're destined for greatness. Pray over your, your, your worm band. Pray over your, uh, your, your, your raised beds, your veggies, and your fruit trees and herbs. I'm telling you guys, you'll receive a great harvest. Elohim will bless you every time you speak to him and act and pray over your, your produce because he's the one that provided. You know, Yahshua is the greatest ever. And um, he's the one that created us in his image and likeness. So until next time, guys. I wish you the best. Shalom. And may the Lord bless you. And may the Lord keep you. And may his face always smile upon you. God bless. And that's his greatness. Shalom.